Now, I'm just gonna say this right now. Like Leo's great and everything, but Noctua House. If you come here and you Noctua is, you're blessed because the energy, the talent. I'm just saying, talent. there's a legacy. There's a legacy. Legacy. I'm cut from the cloth of greatness and Noctua. Yeah, literally an exchange student. What do you mean? I'm telling you, I already knew the, the lineage. Going back, consistently winning every house. He also doesn't have a view because he lives on the level on level seven. Oh. Anyways. Okay. Let's go. Hi, I'm Trisha and I do law and my house is Leo. Hi, my name is Darren and I'm an exchange student from Cornell. Go Noctua. <laughs> oh, what's this? Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Exactly. So we got some questions, Darren. Alright. Can you clear it? Do you want me to hold it too? Okay. How about I like hold it and you can peel them off? Okay, okay. Okay, what are interest groups? Interest groups are basically these like small clubs and then like people you know either have you know basketball or investing or tea and they get together either once a week or every other week and just have a good time together. Yeah. Basically, yeah. He actually explains it better than I do. There's a wide range of our interest groups, so you can do like sports, like just now Darren said basketball. I'm in tennis. You're you said he went to archery before this, which is kinda cool. We also have like Recreational stuff, eh? I do recreational stuff like um, baking and a tea, like RC4 tea, this is pretty cool. And yeah, we Floorball, I'm in floorball. Shout I'm also ball. a big uh, ICG fan. We have these competitions where each of the buildings play against each other. It was just recently and I'm, I'm the biggest supporter for RC4. ICGs are these games that each building, you know, they have their own interest groups and they play against each other once in the semester. <laughs> it's it's inter college games. All inter inter college games. Yeah, and because we're on our, our residential college four, we go against Tembu, Cap, which is Kajo S, Peter Tan, and Yale NUS and NUSC. So it's a big thing. Look out for it if you ever come to RC four. You gonna do the next one? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So tell me. <laughs> oh, which is okay. Hold on. How much do you pay to stay at RC4? Okay, um, we pay 3.6 to stay in RC4 because we both leave, live in the suite. Yeah, so it's gonna, it'll be cheaper for corridor. I'm not really sure of the price. We can like hand to Marcus for that. The meals are included as well. Oh. I got, so we get 100 meals, 100 breakfasts, 100 dinner. I really like the food. What do you think about the, what do you think about the food? It's fine. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's really good. There's halal, there's vegetarian, there's western, there's Asian. For every bre and, and for breakfast, they have grab and goes. And so, I really like the grab and go, the juice. The juice. They, have, like, they have like tropical juices. They have like yeah. mango, they have guava. Yeah, you know that's what I'm uh, so for nine for the nine hundred dollars we pay in addition to living in a suite, we get breakfast and dinner, mm -hmm. but we have to go out for our lunch ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Does RC4 have a selection process for their IGs? Oh, IGs are interest groups to recall. Uh, Actually, no. So I just came here very recently and they encouraged me to join lots of IGs, but they're very, very welcoming. So I joined like three ICGs. I'm in like Captain's Ball, I'm in Floor Ball, Tea Club, Investing. And so it's really a community of people who have like a certain interest. And I'm really glad they were so welcoming, especially for exchange students. So how about you? What was your experience? Uh, we don't. I literally am in like, like at least twenty. I think twenty groups, and I just come for come for the IGs whenever I want to. And there's no selection process. Like, um, they cater to like total beginners as well as like people who've played for or who have done the like whatever the IGs are about for a while. Mm -hmm. So let's say sports. If you are interested in doing a sport they've never tried before, you can just come for the I the IGs and like the seniors will be happy to show you how to do it. Do grades matter when applying to RC4? Okay, I okay the selection process I think they probably don't take into account your grades, but you have to like write a good essay to get in. Um, so for me I wrote uh, I wrote about RC4 and I wrote about like oh um, like how systems thinking is connected to my degree because by then I already have my degree confirmed. So they looked more at that, and then after doing the interview process, they like asked me more about what I thought about RC4 and everything. So no, I don't think grades matter, but you should be have like a basic ability to express like what you want to do and like why you want to come to RC4. Do grades matter for you to come to RC4? Yeah, <laughs> I have to have over like three point seven five. 
GPA to come to Singapore. And I think after that, it was fine. Mm. I had to write an interest letter basically saying why Singapore. Um, and basically, NUS was a great opportunity for me coming from the States. I have Asian ancestry, but I never lived in, the, in Asia before. But everybody's been really, really welcoming. Mm. She gave me a tour of her campus, yeah. the BTC campus yesterday. BTC campus. So, yeah. shout out. So, come, come to RC4 and come to... Oh my god. Am I asking this to you? Yeah, you can ask me. Okay, okay. okay. Does RC hinder any of student life experiences? No. I don't think so. As in like RCs are there to enhance your NUS student life experience. Mm. So I would say it's more of like um, what do you want to get out of NUS? If you want to be like in varsity or like NUS co-curriculars, of course if you commit yourself to RC, you're gonna have less time for that. Or if you're gonna commit, like it goes for any commitment. So I say it enhances, not it does. How about you? Yeah, I feel like it definitely enhanced it because when I first got here, I had this house system. And so basically every three floors, they're grouped together and they made this one house. So I had this automatic community. And then I made so many friends outside of that, you know, through mutual friends. So we would always get lunch and dinner and I would say, oh, like, what are your hobbies? And I would say my hobbies. And then through that, I had the opportunity to, you know, network with people. And then now I'm in like three or four non-RC clubs as well. And this is all within like one and a half weeks. So I think it really like expanded my, my student life experience here. Not too, not too. <laughs>